Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing my January recap, um, as you can see here. <laughs> I do apologize, I usually try to get these videos out uh, sooner, um, but yeah, this week's been really crazy. It's been really hard um, to like manage like work and school and finding time to read and then also finding time to film and edit these videos because it really does take a lot of time. Um, so I'm doing my best and uh, I really appreciate all the support, but just bear with me. I wanted to get this video done uh, to give you guys an idea of what I read in January. Um, I read three books. I listened to four audiobooks and I'm currently reading three books. Without further ado, I will just get right into the list here. The first book that I finished in January was The Terror, and this was our December reading read-along. Um, I really, really tried to finish this one in December, but I didn't quite make it. So this one I finished like on the third or something. It was like very early in the month. But man, great book. Check out my review if you haven't uh, already. The next book that I finished reading this month was Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This was our January read along. I don't want to say too much because I will be doing a uh, discussion video about that here pretty soon. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I'm anxious to hear kind of what you guys thought about it. And then the last one that I finished this month was um, The Colorado Kid by Stephen King. It's a nice short little story. I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, it was okay. It was okay, but I feel like it needed to be, it wasn't really a story. Um, it was just uh, about this mystery, but it never got solved and we never understood what it was about. So it was kind of um, not very satisfying. All right, now on to the audiobooks that I listened to this month. Uh, I went kind of kind of deep into the science fiction. The first one was Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert A. Heinlein. I really enjoyed this. Uh, it is very dated. There's some kind of weird sort of uh, misogynistic kind of themes a little bit, um, but I just chalked that up to the times that it was written. Uh, but overall, I thought it was a great story, and it got really weird and philosophical, and I thought it was really cool. Next up is Prey by Michael Crichton. Um, I enjoyed this, but not really. Like, it was, this is one of Michael Crichton's weakest books that I've read. It reminded me of Micro, which I had listened to the audiobook of last month, uh, but not as good. Uh, and I think this was maybe the last book that was published before he died. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. It wasn't that good. It, for a Michael Crichton book, I, I would stick to his earlier stuff. All right, and then next up was Starship Troopers by Robert Heinlein. Kind of a theme, going with some high, more Heinlein. Uh, honestly, the main reason I chose this book was because it was available at the library and I didn't have to wait or anything for it. Um, it was pretty good. There's... I'm not really sure what the message is. It seems to be kind of like pro-fascist, which is kind of weird. But if you're not like reading too deep into the themes of the book and you're just looking at it as like a military like war novel, like science fiction war novel, it's it's not too bad. All right, and then the last audiobook that I listened to was Michael Crichton's Pirate Latitudes. Another one that is not his best. Uh, it's more historical fiction than sci-fi, um, which he has done well in the past. I think, uh, what was it called? The 13th Warrior? No. That was the movie. What was the... Eaters of the Dead. Um, was kind of the same thing. It was like a historical fiction kind of story. Um, but this one is just not that great. It didn't really hold my attention. I didn't really like many of the characters. Yeah, I just, I just didn't really like it. It was okay. It was okay. All right, on to what I'm currently reading. Uh, Beloved by Toni Morrison. This is the February book of the month. Um, I just started it a couple days ago. Uh, I'm not very far into it. But so far, so good. And um, I'm hoping that I enjoy it, and I'm hoping that you guys do too, and so our discussion can be really, really good. The next one is Cell by Stephen King. I, uh, I take the dust jackets off when I read them, when I read hardcovers just because I don't like having them on there. It's kind of, they're getting away. Um, but uh, I do have it, so. Uh, but yeah, 
again, just started it, not very far in. Um, so far, I'm intrigued. Again, it's just a Stephen King book. I gotta get through all of them, so I'm trying to just plug away at them one at a time. And then the last book, I am actually listening to this one on audiobook right now. It is Michael Crichton's Timeline. I'm almost done, and I really like this one. This is quite good. Uh, it's kind of the same vein. It's like historical fiction, but it does blend like science fiction elements. It's kind of a time travel novel, sort of. Uh, alternate universe novel, sort of. Um, but really cool, like... 13th century France is the setting, and uh, yeah, it's, it's very cool. I, I, I do really like it. And then, of course, last but not least, I am reading War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Uh, this has been on my TBR for years, and every year I say I'm going to read it, and I never get around to it because it's really thick. Um, there are 365 chapters, and so I'm reading one chapter a day. And I'm kind of behind a little bit, but I will catch up, and I, I, am, I am determined to finish this book this year. So it will probably be on these recaps as a currently reading book for, you know, most of the year. Uh, like I said, if I read a chapter a day, then I'll be able to read it just barely by the end of the year. But uh, All right, that's it. That's what I'm doing. Like I said, you know, uh, Beloved is the uh, February book. March has yet to be announced. I will announce that when I do my video for Night Film. And then we will also have a new poll up for the book uh, for, for April. Um, join us on Discord if you are interested in that. You can join the discussion. There are spoiler-free posts and spoiler posts for all of the books for the book club read-alongs. And so you can we can discuss them beforehand before I make those videos and stuff. That's really helpful and awesome. Yeah, that's it. Um, like and subscribe, I guess, if you want. But that's it. That's all I got. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace.